Welcome everybody to another construction update here on the Loch Ness Monster, presenting you with all of the best angles right up until its opening in 2024, which is this year. So it's probably going to be a pretty small update today. We have some construction workers going at it. So the shed has seen some progress. It's been painted green, uh, the supports, and it looks like that frame is getting a roof. So, yeah. And also we've got some people painting the final turn into that brake run. And over there we've got some more people working behind that second loop. Looks like they're repainting that section of track as well. And also the station has been, I guess you could say, curtained off because you cannot see in there. Maybe they're working on the trains. Who knows? We might be able to see it once we get off the sky ride. So yeah, we're starting in Land of the Dragons today. As if you did miss the quick construction footage uh, video that I posted, I believe it was last week or two weeks ago, you would know that they were repainting that this first turnaround right here. And also they repainted the supports, the structure of the interlocking loops, as well as the loops themselves. And now they're re repainting that final turn. There's quite a bit going on by that brake run and that station, so, yeah. Quite a bit of work going on, and we will catch you on the sky ride next. Man, does it feel good to be back on the sky ride. There's a weird echo in here, though. So, since our departure from the sky ride last time, the yellow track just looks absolutely amazing. Let me go out of ultra wide here for a second. There's the shed. That's getting the most attention right now. We go back in ultra wide and check out those vertical loops. Absolutely beautiful. With that new fresh lick of yellow paint, just looks incredible. So yeah, over here by the cave, not much has changed on the outside. I'm sure they've been working hard inside the cave. And you can see that new lift motor right over there. Looking great, looking great. They still got the regular air brakes. Those will probably make a return with the other three fourths of the original aero track. But yeah. That just about does it for this week's construction update. Hope you all enjoyed and uh, feel free to stay tuned for more construction updates coming soon. Signing off for now, this has been Storm and I'll see you coaster lovers next time.